Let's take a look at how Netlify's credit-based pricing system works. We have three plans to choose from based on your team's anticipated usage. This is how credit usage is calculated by Netlify's metered billing. We have five main feature areas. A production deploy is a live version of your project that gets pushed to your main domain and becomes accessible to all users. When you deploy to your production branch, Netlify creates a production deploy. Production deploys use 15 credits per deploy. Note that the use of deploy previews and branch deploys are unlimited. Compute is the amount of resources used by your project. This includes serverless functions, scheduled functions, and background functions. Compute uses five credits per gigabyte hour. Netlify form submissions use one credit per submission. If Netlify auto-detects spam in a form submission, then a credit is not consumed. Bandwidth is the amount of data traffic your project sends out to the internet. Features that use bandwidth include assets and web content hosted on Netlify, image CDN usage, file downloads, function responses, and large media. Bandwidth uses 10 credits per gigabyte. Web requests are web traffic requests to your project, including requests to your site's main or production URL, as well as to any active branch deploys and deploy previews. This includes page views, function requests, asset requests hosted by Netlify, redirects, and form submissions. Web requests use three credits per 10,000 requests. Using our credit calculator, you can calculate common usage patterns and determine your anticipated usage. Once you're using the system, you can monitor and track how your projects are using credits for metered billing, add-ons, team member seats, domains, and more. At the top of your team's usage and billing dashboard, you will find a quick summary of your team's usage, including the number of credits used, concurrent builds, and team member count. To check your team's credit balance details for all projects in your team, you can navigate to the credit balance section. This will show the number of credits left in your plan's monthly credit allotment and available add-on credits, which are used after your plan exceeds its monthly credit allotment. To check your team's credit usage by feature, navigate to the credit usage breakdown section. Detailed usage insights for all projects in your team are available in the account usage insights section. Here you'll find a detailed breakdown of your team's account usage across all projects, including details like project counts, bandwidth, web requests, member count, and more. Each credit-based plan includes a monthly credit allotment that a web project will use for that month's billing cycle. Your monthly credit balance is reset at the start of each billing cycle. If you have a personal or pro plan, you can buy more credits to ensure you always have enough credits to keep your web project active. If you're on the free plan, you cannot buy more credits to keep your project active, and you must either wait until the start of your next billing cycle or upgrade to a higher credit base plan. Once your web projects use up their monthly credit allotment, they will use credits from your add-on credits balance, if available. Excess credits from the monthly credit allotment are not rolled over to the next billing cycle. However you like to build, credits are designed to make sense with your workflow. For more information and to see commonly asked questions, check out our docs.